Well, hello there, members. Today I'm doing something I rarely do. Get up while the sun is still rising. It's a little after 7 a.m. here. And it's worth getting up here today, though, because we are going to go someplace special. Last week we went to a candy store, but this week, oh my goodness, we're going to go to an even bigger one. You might be wondering, out in the middle of this field, there's a candy store bigger than the one we were at last week? Why, yes there is. Minnesota's largest candy store is right here, and this place is amazing. And before we get started, I just want to say a sincere thank you from the bottom of my heart for each and every one of you for being members. I want to thank Killer Whale and Nomadic Hippie for upgrading their memberships over the last week. That is amazing. I also want to thank Miss Stephanie, Box Van D, and Roy and Becky's Travels for becoming the very newest members of Tommy Travels. It's very, very exciting to get this whole thing started and it's really fun doing this members only content. So I hope you guys are all enjoying it and I'm gonna give you a little bit of bonus footage that will not be seen in the video this week from inside the location that you are about to see. Thank you guys once again all so much for being awesome members of Tommy Travels and great supporters of Tommy Travels and the mix. You are in the mix. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, as you can see, this place is much, much bigger than the candy store we were in last week. Just that part alone is bigger. But check this out. A whole silo <laughs> of candy store. This place is absolutely amazing. And I don't think that this is the entrance right here. <laughs> <laughs> she seems to be pretty determined to keep people away from that door. And if you're a fan of caramel corn on the cob, Japanese soda, they have it here for you too. This has got the world's largest soda collection in here, as they claim. And just for members only, while you're in the neighborhood, here we are at Minnesota's largest candy store. We are right there. But you can also visit Suzette's Restaurant, Jordan's Supper House to the north, Scott County Fairgrounds, there's the city of Jordan. There's an apple orchard over here. KOA Campgrounds. If you're into RVing, there's a campgrounds right over here. You can go horseback riding. And then if you come to the south, that's towards Belle Plaine and Mankato. You could go to Emma Crumby's Restaurant which is really cool. They usually have apple picking there as well. They have a zip line, antique shops, classic card, roadhouse cafe, and all the way down here, here's the Jolly Green Giant. We will be seeing him someday in the future. And before we enter into the place, just for members only, hot tip for you. If you're looking for a Tin Man bird feeder, they have them for you right here. And look at this one, has Coca-Cola bottle caps for eyes and for buttons. <laughs> there you go, you can only find it right here in Minnesota. And check this out, they have a grass gauge. <laughs> Two inches, mow next week. Four inches, mow tomorrow. Six inches, weed eater only. Eight inches, graze sheep. 10 inches, graze cattle. And 12 inches, cut hay. Anything higher than that, call 911. That is a grass gauge. I love that. And I love these little shopping carts that they have. Look at these cute little things. You can <laughs> haul all around the store, pick up your basket of goodies. And here's a members only sneak peek of what it looks like inside of this awesome place. We come in and we are underwater. Oh my goodness, you can see a person there that just fell in. And there's a whale that just noticed it. There's a diver down here. There's Ariel and some penguins all the way on top. It is quite an illusion. Even the underneath of a boat and a, a whole ship over there. This <laughs> actually makes you feel like you're underwater at this place. 
Look at all this candy. And it goes way down there. If you're a fan of pickle relish or salsa or puzzles, <laughs> they've got, this is supposed to be one of the largest puzzle collections that you can find as well. Take a look at that. And look at this little cast of characters. Hello, ma'am, sir, love your mustache right there. It's not cheesy looking at all. <laughs> oh, I like you guys. Look at that nice little smile right there. But unfortunately, I have some bad news about your future. And if you've gone through this entire area and haven't found any candy that you like, or puzzles that you wanna buy, or anything that you like, you might need some psychiatric help, and the doctor is in, but I'm not seeing Lucy behind the booth at all. So I guess the doctor is not in today. And look at this, we've run into a full-size Tin Man, and he has fresh coffee for everybody. Natural roasted coffee in all sorts of different flavors here. Wow. You should be a little more peppy than you look. <laughs> I guess the green light means you've had your coffee for the day. This is the entrance to the big dome that we saw outside and it is space themed. They have Star Trek over there, Star Wars over here, and tons of cotton candy. They've got cotton candy banana, cupcake, P PB and J. Look at all this cotton candy. And they've even got Trump hair cotton candy. <laughs> Who doesn't want some of that? And take a look at this. The band is still up and running and operational. They are the confectionaries, ladies and gentlemen, and they are awesome. Well, members, as we take a little, another look at this magical place, thank you so much for tuning in to this little behind the scenes footage and sneak preview of this week's adventure. I want to thank you all so much for being members. Look at that plane's about to crash into that balloon over there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you guys all so much. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side. We are right here, Minnesota's largest candy store. If you go this direction to the north, you can find Scott County Fair Goods. Are you in the mood for some blue, blue, 